Daniel Dianu, thank you very much for being with us. You're the former finance minister of Romania and a member now of the board of the Central Bank. Um, the euro. Is another euro crisis inevitable? And if so, how can it be remedied? It may be that we, we will experience a new episode of crisis, of recession in, in the global economy, and that's going to have an impact on, on the European Union, on the euro area. Uh, we, uh, I, I think um, economic recovery is not proceeding at the pace we are been hoping for, and, but there is sort of an economic recovery. On the other hand, one has to acknowledge that it's taking place against the background of unconventional policies. So it's not like... Uh, really uh, almost permanently low interest and, rates. And very low interest rates, ultra low interest rates, unconventional policies practiced by the ECB, but other central banks in, in, in the Union. And uh, we can't just say we, are, uh, we have seen uh, the light at the end of the tunnel because uh, these unconventional policies uh, are prevailing. Mm -hmm. And they, one cannot say they do epitomize uh, the new normalcy when it comes to uh, what, what should be done. We do it because we have, or the ECB has to do to practice it, but there is already a mounting. A but mounting it's also quantitative easing as well, isn't it? It's not just low interest rates. It's not, it's not only uh, ultra low interest rates, and in addition, ultra low interest rates are not, uh, do not have the main driver in central banks' policies. Uh, they are driven in the main by structured trends in the global economy. They are linked with demographics, uh, with income distribution, with uh, productivity gains, the dynamics of productivity gains. Uh, this is why we're talking about secular stagnation. And, uh, but, uh, but central banks have been trying uh, to avoid deflation, the, the, the very bad combination of uh, non-growth and, and, uh, As and inflation. As in a Japan crisis, basically. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's a lesson from the Japanese I mean, Japanese when you crisis. come here to the World Policy Conference and you talk about these problems, do you find it useful? No, that it, it's very useful because we, not only that, we, it's not about meeting uh, old friends or newer friends. It's about discussing hot topics. And it's useful uh, because uh, we are still sailing into uncharted territories. We're still looking for the really hell. And, uh, and, um, and uh, this is the way to try to find uh, the, optimal, the optimal path, uh, the optimal path forward. Uh, as, as I said, um, people have to acknowledge that we are still in the realm of unconventional policies. It's not like we have a, an economic recovery underway and that's it. No, that's not accurate. We are slow. Well, let's hope that we find our way some with, thanks to people like you, to a happy destination. Yeah, and hopefully, and hopefully we'll be able to maintain a relatively open global economy because the rise of protectionism and that could fragment terribly the Absolutely. global economy and could um, further, further diminish uh, the power of economic recovery. Daniel Daniel, thank you very much indeed.